Hey guys, it's me, Sydney. So today I'm actually going to be doing a long-awaited Q&A. You guys have been asking for a Q&A. Today we're just gonna do that. I feel like having this hoodie on, so we're just gonna chill with this hoodie. Okay, so I'm gonna be looking at my phone just to read the questions off, and then I'll also have them here so you guys can see the question yourself. Uh, question number one, who slash what made you want to start working out? So the reason that I started working out was because of my depression and the fact that I had hit my breaking point and I would I was inspired by Amy Nicola XO. She was one of the YouTubers that I was watching who had lost a lot of weight and she told her story and that really motivated me and it continued to keep me motivated for a really long time. The next question is first kiss story. Uh, when I was like really young it like didn't really matter but like my first real kiss was actually in seventh grade and this guy and I had been friends but you know in seventh grade you can't like Friends is like a hard thing to be with a boy and uh, I had invited him to sleep over at my house but it was like we were just friends and then it was awkward and we didn't know what to talk about so we just started making out and that was literally like my first real kiss. Next question is what's the most painful injury you've had while doing physical activity? Two injuries when I tore my shoulder which was my pec labrum and rotator cuff all of that on my right side. When I tore that that was so painful and it lasted a really long time. I also have dropped dumbbells on my toes before and that's honestly one of the most painful things because you can't scream in a gym and like you don't want to be that person that everyone's like, stop screaming. The next question is, what three things would you bring in a zombie apocalypse can be not real items? So if I were in a zombie apocalypse, to be honest, I would bring protein, pre-workout, and BCAAs because... <laughs> And water. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want anything because I was gonna. I'd die anyway, so I'd want to die with my gains. If you could spend a day with a hippo or ele an elephant, which one would it be and why? Um, elephants, because I feel like they're cleaner. Like I've seen the teeth that elephant have, and then hippos, and like they just look cleaner and bigger and cool. You can ride on them rather than hippos that just seem dirty and. Unrele irrelevant and everything. Next question is, what is the weirdest thing a guy has asked for before? Like fetish weird. So two things. Number one, um, there is a glasses fetish out there. Like guys really like glasses and when I first posted my video about my glasses a long time ago, I had so many guys that would kick, like bef when kick messenger was a thing, they would kick me and they'd say, hey, can you send me pictures of your glasses and you wearing them and like them halfway down your uh, face. That I got a ton. Like I had a, about like 25 guys when I first posted that video and I was not big on YouTube. So it was like awkward, but you know. And then the other thing is a lot of guys hit me up on Snap and they ask for pictures of my toes or my feet. And I know that, that there's a foot fetish out there, but I don't send pictures of my feet back. So yeah. The next question is what makes you motivated to work hard every day? I set goals for myself. In order to work hard every single day, I put myself on a timeline and I give myself goals and I keep myself accountable. And I know that if I'm not going to work hard, I'm not going to get the results that I really want. So that kind of keeps me going with the motivation. And on the days that I'm not motivated, sometimes I just have to push through and go with my habits. So the next question is how do you have time to eat healthy, go to the gym? Um, honestly, I make time for it. It's a huge priority in my life and I just really, really want it. So I make time for it. Like there's times when people, you know, they want to go out, they want to see their friends, but they have work and they still make time for it. It's just like that. Like I work, I go to school, um, I meal prep so that I do eat healthy and I make time for the gym. If I can't go at night, I go in the morning. The next question is, do you think working out is fun? Um, honestly, in the beginning, I hated working out. I hated it, I hated it, I hated it. I did not want to work out. I didn't want to do anything. But now I've come to terms that working out is like to better myself and I really do enjoy it. Like I love the feeling after I accomplish like something in the gym, if I sweat, if any, if I feel sore the next day, like I know that the rewards are so great that that's what keeps me going. That's what I enjoy from it. The next one is what happened at your family meeting after you posted your first time story time? So if you guys don't know, um, I posted my story time video a while ago on how I, you know, lost my virginity and everything. And my dad called a family meeting basically saying, Sydney, take it down. The next question is, what workouts do you recommend so that my booty can be lifted with fast results? 
honestly lunges um anything that you can actually get your glutes going so I noticed that when I started doing lunges and cardio at the same time, but like the Stairmaster cardio, that's when I started seeing a ton of results. The next question is, how long did it take you to see results? I didn't notice my like fat loss change or anything like my like my weight was changing but I didn't see it in the mirror or on the scale on um, anything besides the scale for about four months. So honestly, if you guys are starting out your journeys, wait four months before you even think oh it's not working because sometimes what you see in the mirror is like your mind playing tricks on you and then the next question that i received was how do you stay positive in order to stay positive i had to change my mindset completely i had to tell myself that there's going to be lows but i had to bring myself up as quickly as possible so that i didn't get stuck in one of those lows and i think that was like really hard thing but mentally working out keeps me positive and then changing my mindset when i have a bad thought I change it I say oh it's gonna get better and then I just like let it go so the last question that I'm gonna be answering today is what is one bad food you cannot resist I have the biggest sweet tooth ever and if I don't get sweets in some form then my go-to like go crazy kind of food that I cannot resist is a pizookie if you guys have ever had a pizookie you know that these things are addictive and it's just like warmed up cookie dough in like a skillet with ice cream on top of it but seriously I like to call it a fat cookie because girl it is oof, seriously my ultimate like I don't know how anyone can resist these things I know people that don't like them it is seriously one of my biggest weaknesses and if someone were to say Sydney here's a pizuki get in the van I would probably get in so I love you guys to the moon and back if you guys enjoy don't forget to give this video a little bit of love if you guys have any questions for me put them in down below because that is where I'm gonna take the questions for the next Q&A anything you guys want to ask me if you guys have more personal questions that you guys want to ask um, anything you want to know about me these Q&A's are better to get to know me so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you guys in my next one so aren't you glad to meet me I think you should I'll be